Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to make a function gun in Godot, or if you want, Godot. So first we're going to create a new 2D scene, and we're going to rename this to main, just for our main scene where we'll be playing the game. Create a new one, use other node, character body 2D, name that player, save that. And then let's make one more, not a 2D scene. This will be use other node, another character body 2D, and we're gonna name this bullet. Now within the player, we are going to add an area 2D and name this player area. Copy that. Let's save this real quick and paste it into the bullet and rename it bullet area and under that we will add a collision shape copy that and put also a collision shape into the bullet and same with the player now we can save these two and in the player we're going to add a sprite and name this character and then we'll add another sprite and name this item and now I'm going to go to the bullet and in the collision shape we're going to just make it a rectangle and disabled is on and then you can kind of if you want to it doesn't matter you can make it like the size of the bullet that's just like if you have like OCD or something I don't know for this now I'm going to go to my character sprite and use the icon as the texture so get a character there. Then I will shape my collision shape accordingly. So in transform, I'm gonna make the scale. Or first you gotta choose rectangle shape. Then I'll make the scale same as this symbol, like that. Then for the area, we'll just make the collision shape a rectangle and have the same scale. So that covers all of it as well. So it's basically the same collision shape. And then for the item, you can use the move tool, move it like to the right of the character, and then add the icon to it. So you have a texture. You don't have to use icon, you can use whatever weapon texture you want. And now I have that. That's good. Now to the item, I'm going to add a node 2D and make this bullet pause. And we will move this to the a little bit to the right of the barrel, so for where the bullet will spawn. Now back to the bullet. I'm going to add a sprite here so we have a visual for the bullet. And this will just be the icon, except for the scale I'm going to make it like 0.2. So it's very small. And now we are going to attach a script to our player. So let's start in the bullet script, and we're going to make a function, function physics process delta, like that. And let's just pass that for now. Now over in the player, we want to have the same function. And for the player, we're going to do input, or if input dot get action, or not get, action just pressed, is actually just pressed. And to do interact. Now you want to go to your well first add a colon, but you want to go to your project, project settings, input map, and you want to add this interact action by type it in not there but in action right there, and then you just add it by pressing enter. But then you could use this plus to the right of it to add how you trigger this action, which for me it'll be the E key and the left mouse button. And then you also want to make a flip action, and you can make whatever key you really want. Now, if interact is pressed, then we'll do right here, and we'll do money sign uh, item. We named it item, right? Let me check. Yep. And item, uppercase I, 
dot texture equals equals preload icon. Now this is helpful if you are using a similar item system to the one that I use. Um, so you're checking for based off which texture it is, what item he is holding. So let's say if it's just an the icon, then what we are going to do is bullets equals preload in parentheses and quotations bullets dot tscn and then new bullets equals bullets dot instantiate. Now we're going to do new or get parent dot add child new bullet. So since we'll be in the main scene, getting the parent would be getting the main node because that's where the player will be. In fact, if you press this, we can add the player to the scene right now. So get the main and then add a child to it, which will be the new bullet. Oh, and I forgot var. I want to make sure these are variables, not just bullet and new bullet. So there you go. Now to set the position, since this is connected to the player, we can do new bullet dot global position equals and then if we go to our player you could see under it we got money sign item and then we could do slash bullet pause so now we have the bullet pause that we made dot global position so we made this bullet position right here to show where we want our bullet to spawn. So just make sure you have that where you want it to spawn. And now what we can see is if we run it, you can see up here in the top left it creates it. Now I would also recommend just to your player to add a camera 2D. And then when you run the game, it'll be centered on the player. So now, what we need to do is we make sure that the bullet moves. So over in the bullet script, we're going to do bar speed, and then just say 200, and then velocity equals vector, two. velocity equals vector 2, 1, 0, so that it moves. And then we can do is move and collide. And then we're going to do What's she doing? You good? <laughs> Velocity dot normalize times speed times delta. Delta is just time, so that it moves based on time. So now you can see in the main, if I click, now it shoots. Huzzah! Huzzah indeed. So now what we want to do is let's make sure that our player area, the collision shape under that is the same as the player. And for our bullet area, we want the collision shape to be the same as the bullet, if not like slightly bigger, so it can detect better. So I'm just going to do 1.2, so it's just slightly bigger. There we go. Now what we can do is we can test our collision. We're going to make collision. So we're going to go to the player over here in the scene, select the player area, and on the right side click node. And then area entered, double click that, and then we'll just connect it to the player. So if another, what, what this function calls on is when a different area enters the player area. So basically, if one does, then it'll call it area. So area, if, we're going to do if area dot name equals equals bullet area, since we're checking to see if it's the bullet. Then we will do get tree dot change scene to file 
and we will do res slash slash menu dot tscn. So that doesn't exist yet. So we're going to make the menu. So if you just make a new scene, user interface, you can just name it menu. And all you're going to do is just add a button. So over here, you can see that and add a camera. And in the inspector for the camera, make the zoom really tight so you can see the button better. There you go. Snap around this. Then you can see we just got a button. All we want to do for this button is name it play. And you can make the text say play. And then up in this, change the layout to the center. And change the camera layout to the center. Well, you can just move it to the center. So now when you run it, it's more centered. So it's like this. So if you select the play button, go to the node on the right side next to the inspector, and then double click pressed. You want to connect it, make sure it's connected to the menu. Then you have that on play pressed. And it changes based on the name of the button. So if you didn't name the button play, it'll be different. You just want to do get tree by under dash get tree dot change scene to file main. We'll just make it oh we'll just make it the main scene. So that's good. So now if we run it, if we were able to connect with that, then it'll send us to the main. So for the menu you can test this, but it sends you here. Now to test our other one, to test whether it sends us back to the menu if we die, what we can do is we can make it so in the player script under the physics process delta function, if input dot is action just pressed, and we're going to add another action, I told you I added before, but it's flip, then what we'll do is money sign item, make sure we're referring to our item, dot scale dot x equals, basically I think we can just do, I think this will work, negative item dot scale dot x not sure if that'll work but it should we can test it just in the player so press l yep there we go so since it flips and in our player we made sure our bullet pause is under the item it means that that'll flip with it and since it does that, that means it's pointing directly at us, so when we fire, it'll hit us. And then, using the script, we detect that the area collided with our area, and since the name is bullet area, since it was the bullet, then it puts us back to the menu. So all in all, if we just run it from the menu, we can play, fire bullets, if I press my L button, since that's what I made for the flip, now it's flipped, if I click, it fires right at me. There you go. Now it can detect on players. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and you can add on to this pretty easily. Like you can change right here for when it collides what you want it to do. So you just do add what should happen when bullet hits player, something like that. You can make it so you could put something like this in something else, like an enemy, so you can detect when an enemy is hit. 